and welcome back to Ray Education. My name is Gary Martin with rggedu.com and today we're going to be going over what RAID 5 is, when to use it, a few options with RAID 5, and what its practical use is today. Now in the first few videos we covered what RAID is, RAID 1, and RAID 0. Today we're going to be going over how RAID 0 and RAID 1 basically make up what RAID 5 is. The nice thing about RAID 5 is it takes a little bit from the redundancy of RAID 1 and combines it with the speed of RAID 0 to create both speed and redundancy built in. And we like these options here in the studio because we can use these drives, have something external with a large amount of capacity, and also have redundancy built in without losing speed. Now we have two drives here called the G-Speed Studio, and this one is the XL version of it. Now, they're shaped a little bit differently, and on this one you see that we have four drives, and if it's 24 terabytes, that means these are each six terabytes large. And likewise with its bigger brother, the XL, we have a total of eight drives, and it has a front door here. And you'll see here that these have eight drives in them, and with a 64 terabyte capacity, you'll see that these are all enterprise class eight terabyte drives themselves to get a total of 64 terabytes. So as you'll see here on the chart, normally with RAID 5, you have about a 75% capacity. So meaning if this drive is 24 terabytes, if it's set to RAID 5, the most you'll have available is uh, 18 terabytes. So if any of these drives fail, you should be able to take that drive out, put a new drive in while it's, the entire device is still on, and it will rebuild all the data from the rest of the drives so these other three drives have enough data on them to rebuild that other drive. Likewise, with its bigger brother over here, there's a little bit of a difference. And when you go bigger with eight drives, you'll see here on the G-Speed Studio XL that we have 56 terabytes available. And 56 terabytes is slightly higher, around 86% capacity. Um, so when you go bigger with a RAID 5, with eight drives, you will have a more capacity and you won't necessarily have that general 75% uh, utilization that RAID 5 uses. So let's get into the speed test and I'd like to compare how these are to each other and also we'll bring up what RAID 0 and what RAID 1 are and how fast they compare to these guys. And we see here that these speeds are absolutely faster than our even RAID 0, which is set up to be faster. 556 uh, rate speed, 288, and down here we're going to see that this is basically good for most of the video, all the video that we work with, all the way up to 2K, uh, we're in the 10-bit, 12-bit, not a lot of the 12-bit at 444, um, but you'll see here for the majority of what people do, all of 1080 is going to be good. This is going to be a good solution to have next to your computer for working on, for speed, uh, large capacity if you're dealing with a lot of footage and you're also going to have redundancy built in to the drive itself in case of failure. So let's compare that with its big brother the G-Speed Studio XL and you'll see here compared to its smaller brother the 24 terabyte this one is actually considerably faster again and this one is testing all for everything except this 1080 60 frames at 12 bit 444 726 compared to 556 and 663 for reading compared to 288. So that is it for our RAID 5 system. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Gary Martin with RGG EDU. We make photography and Photoshop tutorials with some of the world's best photographers and instructors. Check us out at rggedu.com.